Hello, Pointy. Are you okay? No. Today I feel sad. I do not want to play. Tiny T-Rex and the Impossible Hug by Jonathan Stutzman, illustrated by Jay Fleck. How to make a friend feel better. Cake, smiles, hugs, tacos, jokes. Hugs is circled. There's a problem. I have tiny arms. It is very difficult to hug with tiny arms because he's a T-Rex. Each day I'm growing taller, but my arms are still tiny. Hugging almost seems impossible for a Rex as tiny as me, but I will try anyway. Pointy needs me. Where is my father? I will ask him for advice. Hello, father. Rexes are thinkers, not huggers. Perhaps instead of hugs, mathematics might be the answer to your mm, problem. Happiness is 8x plus 3y plus 2z. That's algebra. Lots of letters. Pointy does not like math. Math will only make Pointy feel worse. <sighs> Hello, Auntie Junip. I have a problem. I must learn how to hug, but my arms are too tiny. I have found that balance is the key to every... Oh, this is... I gotta do a different voice. I have found that balance is the key to every problem. Balance and freshly squeezed cucumber juice. That is disgusting. I will ask my mother for help instead. <laughs> I have fallen and now I am lost. I do not think I will find my mother in here. <laughs> Hello, mother. <laughs> he was in a drawer. It's okay if you can't hug, Tiny. You are good at many other things. You are kind and creative and braver than most. You are tiny, but your heart is big. I cannot hug with my heart, mother. I must learn to hug with my arms. <laughs> Hello, sister. Hello, brother. <laughs> Please help me. Hugging is very difficult. <laughs> We'd love to help, Tiny. <laughs> to do the impossible, you must plan and practice. Practice. <laughs> practice, bunk. Practice. Plunk, plunk. Thank you, Trixie and Rari. <laughs> That's a good name for a T-Rex. Rari. <laughs> that is good advice. Wham. I will plan my strategy. He's got it. He's drawn in chalk. He's going to shoot himself at, at his friend Pointy and land. It's too far. He's going to jump on some stilts and try to... Nope, that won't work. And then he's going to try going on a unicycle off of a ramp and land. Well, maybe that will work. But then what if he holds on to this friend's long neck and falls? Oop, pointy's got pointy stabbers on his back. Uh, he could land. F equals M A. That's probably force is mass times acceleration. And he's coming down. Same problem. Pointy tail. Uh, he could dig under and come up and be at the right spot to hug Pointy. So he may dig under, let's see. I will get stronger, he says, <laughs> doing sit-ups. And he's gonna do punching bags and he's gonna do jumping jacks. I will practice very hard. I will practice my hugs on everything. <laughs> Here he is rolling in a ball, hugging a little book, hugging a flower. Uh-oh, hugged an ice cream cone. <laughs> That didn't work very well. Oh no, that's a cactus. In Arizona, there are cactuses like this and they are very pointy. And that keeps water from escaping. Another thing that helps the cactus hold on to its water is the spines. They're a little bit of shade for the cactus and they keep animals from biting into the cactus and stealing water that way. I will not practice on that anymore. 
You'll get filled with spines just like that. It's terrible. I hope he's okay. Looks like he is. I am all, I am almost ready. I will practice one more time. When I am done, I will find my friend. This tree is very big like pointy. I will hug it. This is not a tree. I have made a mistake. Please help. <laughs> He's on a pterodactyl. From up here, everything looks tiny. Like me, I could hug anything I wanted. <laughs> Shouldn't have hugged a pterodactyl's leg. Oh no, he's falling. Now I am falling. I should not have let go. <laughs> now I will <laughs> never find pointy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Whew, he landed on Pointy's head. Good thing he missed the stabbers. Hello, Pointy. I don't remember Tiny Pointy's voice was, uh, Hello, Tiny. I'm here to make you feel better. I have practiced very hard and hugged many things. My arms are still tiny and my hugs are still tiny. But I will do my very best because you are my very best friend. Thank you, Tiny. <laughs> Baby T-Rex hugs. That was the biggest hug ever, says Pointy. See, it doesn't matter how big or small your arms are. Your hug can be the biggest if you love the most. And there's a picture of a cactus on the back to remind us not to hug cactuses. Where I grew up in Washington State, they have something almost as bad as those cactuses. They're not as pretty. They have one good thing about them. They've got all these, the good thing is not the points. They got pointy spines all over them and we would make forts and trails through them and stuff because they're these big bushes that grow everywhere. But in the end of August, all of the blackberries get ripe and they taste so good. So we'd go out and pick blackberries every August, but yeah, if you ever got stuck to some of those things, they would grab the back of your shirt or something. And ow, ow, and they'd poke you. Oh, so not as bad as a saguaro cactus, but pretty bad. I don't know. That is Tiny T-Rex and the Impossible Hug by Jonathan Stutzman, illustrated by Jay Fleck. Thanks for watching. <laughs>